Here is a project I've been putting off for a number of years that I'm finally going to get to. This is uh, my Victor Victrola orthophonic credenza that someone left out in the rain. <laughs> and uh, that, of course, doesn't work real well with furniture. You can see what's happened to the veneer. It, uh, about the only thing of value in this machine really was the uh, reproducing head or the sound box, which is in very good condition. But uh, the case, as you can see, had suffered from its uh, ordeal out in the, in the weather. The, uh, the bottom, as you can see, is pretty damp, uh, destroyed. The legs, of course, are missing. The four uh, bun legs, they're, they're, they're fat little legs. Now, why are they gone? Well, one reason is that they were, the original ones were laminated. And the dampness, uh, this was probably before it was put out in the rain on the curb in Racine. That's where it was found, was sitting out on the sidewalk in Racine before someone rescued it. And then I eventually ended up with it uh, as it was gifted to me from a friend. <laughs> but <clears throat> why are the legs missing? Well, being that they were laminated, they uh, uh, probably started falling apart. And uh, someone took them off at one time or another uh, and then so this thing would just sit right down on the floor. Now I have these legs that I bought from uh, Lowe's. Of course they're not the same kind, they're different. Um, and they screw on. So I'm going to have to devise a way to attach these. Of course when this, re when this piece is refinished, when I get done with it, this will be uh, colored to match, probably very dark, to match the rest of the machine. But these corner pieces here are screwed in. There's a, there's a screw here and a screw here. And I can take this out and devise a way to come up with a plate and a nut to be able to screw these on and get these mounted somewhat in the vicinity where the old legs were. As far as this rotted bottom, here are four um, bolts that go through that hold this together. I'll probably take these out, get new uh, bolts for it, but I'll probably get pull this this uh, uh, delaminated piece off, and then just get a piece of plywood that I'll cut to fit inside here and then bolt this back on. The plywood, of course, will be either painted black. It, you'll never see it anyways. But that's how I plan to fix the bottom. Um, like I say, most people would have just thrown this away and just kept the sound box. A collector would have done that anyways. But I've always wanted an orthophonic credenza. And uh, uh, so I finally got one some years ago <laughs> and what do I get? I get this orphan from the storm. An orphan from the storm. I'm going to cut some pieces of wood to fit over this and uh, masses of course. I'll get glue worked in as far as I can work it in. Um, the good thing is, is, is the veneer is pretty tight down the middle and it's also pretty tight up here. Uh, it isn't down here however. Uh, here it's pretty, pretty loose all the way across. So I'm going to have uh, various ways using clamps and weights and stuff to glue this back together uh, before I, uh, I have to get this thing all glued before I can strip, strip it down and refinish it. Uh, basically this is not going to be a restoration at all. Um, uh, this is just going to be to fix it. To make it look presentable, to make it look like a piece of furniture again. Uh, the original finish I'll never be able to duplicate, so it'll get my own finish on it, uh, what I, I know how to do. 
um, and uh, hopefully when I'm done this thing will will not only sound good it does sound good now I played it uh, there's an earlier video that I played it but hopefully it'll look as good as it sounds <laughs> compared to what it looks like now so anyways uh, this is uh, the first of my uh, kind of gluing and repair video for this poor old phonograph that somebody decided was left out in the rain. You know, it's, it's a mystery. I would think that at one time this was either sitting on the f concrete floor of a garage before it was put out in the rain or it was in a basement. But I would imagine that a lot of this, uh, this wetness uh, I don't know if this is a dog chewed on this back corner, but at least it's a back corner and not the front corner. But I'm thinking that uh, this had probably been in a basement or in a garage before somebody got tired of it and said, let's throw this thing out and they put it on the curb waiting for the trash man to come pick it up. So let's see what I can do with this. Let's see what I can do if I can fix this thing up and see what I end up with when I'm done. The top, I have the top off of course, but the original top that, that came with this had one whole side was missing, it was gone. But from a collector I got a replacement top. So I have another top for it. Of course the, the surface needs to be refinished because I have to refinish it to match the rest of the machine. But uh, uh, I got another top for it. So that's about it. Uh, uh, I'll have some pictures of uh, the gluing and clamping included in this video. And uh, let's see what I end up with when I'm done. <laughs> Hopefully it'll look better than it looks now. I've managed to uh, glue uh, this side down. Um, as you can see, it's not very good. Uh, you know, the veneer is pretty rippled. It was very, very hard to get this glued down. <laughs> and in the middle here, even though I worked the glue in as far as I could get it and, and as good as I could get it, there's one little place where I could see that there's a, uh, a loose spot, but it's so minor. <laughs> I'm not going to fool with it. Like I say, saving this thing was, you know, in most cases, most people would have thrown this out. Uh, but the veneer is nice and tight now. Uh, it's been glued and clamped all the way around. Um, I have the doors off of it, of course, and uh, I've been gluing uh, the veneer on those as well. So. I'm uh, making a little progress. I'm going to rotate it around when I get some help. I can't do it on my own and do the other side and uh, once I've got that glued up I will um, start stripping it. I'm not going to strip it inside. I'm going to mask it and uh, uh, seal that off. I don't want to have to strip it inside and out. I'm just going to try to restrict my uh, refinishing to the outside of this machine. By the way, I did get another uh, a top for it from a collector. Uh, uh, I don't have it here, but it, it was on the machine for a while. It's the one that the original one was missing that piece. So uh, this is coming along, but like I say, I've got this, uh, this uh, pretty much uh, glued up and needs to be sanded because the veneer, of course, expanded a little bit when it got wet. Um, it's not the same, uh, it doesn't match up with this. It's a little wider, but I'll sand that down. Uh, I think it's going to come along pretty nice, uh, in spite of the fact the thing was a wreck.
Here is the bottom of the uh, the orthophonic removed. That's my uh, boxer Pepper, <laughs> who's uh, going to interfere with uh, my video here. Anyways, um, you can see how warped everything got uh, as far as this uh, vernier. Um, I would suspect that this thing before somebody left it out in the rain, I would suspect that someone had this either stored in a very damp basement or a very damp garage. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this thing, if the bottom part of this wasn't even in a flood at one time because the bottom, uh, if I look underneath it, uh, if I could do this without wrecking it too much, you can see how how spongy and 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 water damage this bottom part is. So I would have to suspect that before someone had this sitting out in a curb in Racine, Wisconsin, uh, in in a rainstorm, that someone had this thing stored or it was sitting in a very damp uh, area. I'm going to be uh, uh, working on this thing and, and trying to glue this up, clean it up, and glue it up as good as I can. i got to say, this is not a restoration project. Uh, there's no way that I can restore this thing. The best uh, that I can do is to make it uh, far more nice-looking and presentable than it is. I guess my next video might be when I've got the thing completed. I'm not really sure. Thanks for watching.